Yeah, what's good everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here and I am back with some NBA 2K23 Park news for last gen PS4 Xbox One I guess Nintendo Switch I guess PC I'm here with all that but before we hop into that man make sure you guys hit that like button um what they be saying like like every time they video will start like yo it really helps me a lot it helps me with the algorithm Hit the like button, bro. Let's get into it. All right, so you might not know this about me, but I'm never touching last gen. I just wanted to be completely honest with y'all because a lot of YouTubers are going to tell you that they're going to be back and forth, hopping between each other. They're going to hit legend on both accounts. Oh, listen, I'm not doing all that. I'm going to be on next gen on PS5. If anybody wants to play with me, my Discord link is inside the description on my link tree. But as far as last gen goes, I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's looking like a W. Now to start things off, if you guys look at this image right here, this is called the Squad Up Gallery. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. 2K is still trying to give Last Gen a lot of love, a lot of attention. I'm not sure how much attention they're gonna get after launch, but I feel like they're still innovating for Last Gen. I, and I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all, man. I believe last gen will probably be around for another maybe two and a half, three years. I feel like last gen isn't going anywhere. For anybody that owns a PS4 or an Xbox One, if you don't want to come to next gen, I think 2K isn't going to force you to come to next gen simply because, again, there aren't many PS5s. I've even been hearing rumbling in the community that people are going to next gen, but all on Xbox. I don't know how that's going to sit, but I do remember more than maybe a decade ago um playstation had got hacked and everybody that was on playstation with that free you know internet play they all went to xbox 360 and had to pay for the xbox live because playstation just was down so i was one of those people i was poured in went over to xbox i ain't gonna lie i had a little bit of fun over there you know what i'm saying the party system it was cool i ain't gonna cap you know what i'm saying because it was all before playstation had its own parties but i'm here with playstation i'm here to stay but i believe that the community is just tired of waiting for a ps5 they are sick and tired and we've been hearing rumblings of playstation working on a lighter or a smaller version of the ps5 drop them things <laughs> it's that simple drop the ps5s get more people to play and it would be good but let's let's move on let's move on um unrivaled competition awaits on the goat boat obviously you know why they called it the goat boat right greatest of all time boat you know what i'm saying so basically this is surrounding nba 2k23 michael jordan it's fire the neighborhood set sail again in NBA 2K23 on current gen but this time aboard the goat boat equipped with more courts and new quests this year we're making a splash okay so a little, you know what i'm saying a little okay cool um all aboard uh should i read this uh, you know what i'm gonna read it just because you know i can't read um all aboard nba 2k23 is ready to set sail on current gen consoles and you don't want to miss your chance to stay on this year's luxury cruise liner last year nba 2k22 introduced the all-new neighborhood okay yeah the concert mm -hmm, that's okay neighborhood will once again call a luxury liner home in nba 2k23 but it has been replaced with the goat boot coming to the dock near you on playstation 4 xbox one nintendo switch and pc like i said in the beginning of the video um the goat boat is about to make its maiden voyage uh this year we made a handful of enhancements to the neighborhood by increasing the number of total courts implementing no weight gameplay options and more matchmaking below we've detailed these um refinements and can't wait for you to experience them for yourself all right so as far as the environment changes for the next 12 months, player will call the Goat Boat home and take part in a myriad of competitions during that time frame. Life aboard that, uh huh, yeah, cool. The Goat Boat is an entirely new experience and equipped with more accessible layout. You'll notice several differences between that boat and the Goat Boat, uh, such as the deck system and the promenade, among others. Okay, cool. Um, we want to ensure you that the cruise ship is accommodating as possible during your stay. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. 2K. Y'all about to y'all about to open up a hotel chain. Y'all 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 got amenities. Um, so this year we're prior prioritizing more game modes and courts, uh, broader lanes and hallways for smoother tra traversal and more centralized promenade to tie everything together. Cool. 
Um, the Goat Boat has a three deck layout. Okay. Um, the Platinum deck called Trips. Six 3v3 courts. Six of them. Okay. Okay. Four elevators. Two showers. A server refresh. Okay. <laughs> two showers. Ha. <laughs> um, Gatorade training facility. Okay. Um, six 2v2 courts on a Platinum deck. Deuces. Um, six 2v2 courts. Three elevators. Two showers. The Platinum deck. Uh, Moat. Two 5v5 courts. One more than last year. So, they got... Let's see, this is 5v5 squads. Cool. I honestly I think that's a W. Two 5v5 courses is actually a W. Um, let me see. And it's looking like is that the uh, other court over there? Okay. I mean, listen, it's looking good to me. It's looking good to me. I can't lie to y'all. Um, two elevators, two showers, and an uh, entrance to excursions. Okay, I wanna I wanna I wanna know what that is. The silver deck promenade Jordan challenges. Hmm. Jordan challenge as in the championship challenges or something different. I want to know. I want to know what that is. The rec lounge. Hold on. <clears throat> rec lounge. Hold on. What that what that rec gonna be looking like though? These these I I, I like the I like the the little setup. I like that more little him saying little sliding doors, but what's them colors gonna look like? What them jerseys gonna look like? All right, they brought back the cages. Okay, the cages, all right. Um, I guess that says season one, 2K23. Okay, so seasons, we already know is in the game. Uh, the NBA store swags, rose sporting goods, wheels, docks, the paint tattoo, partner stores, my team and the ga Gallium, 1v1. Okay, so they got the 1v1 court, okay. Um, this looks oh, this actually looks dope. What? So, hold on. So, this is the silver deck probably Okay, so the 1v1 court, I'm not gonna lie, 1v1 court look kind of dope. You know what I'm saying it's crazy. They got a bed, yo. They really need to bring my court back, bro. They got beds in that joint and all that. How you got a bed right next to where people shooting these goddamn barrels out the windows? Y'all, what is uh, the bridge 3v3? This shit look hard. I ain't gonna lie, if it's empty. That's okay, I understand. But having a 3v3 like court inside, like the captains, like I guess the quarters where they they actually, you know what I'm saying, checking the sonars, riding the fucking boat, you know what I'm saying, checking all hey, this shit look hard. I ain't gonna lie. Um, daily pick 'em, daily uh prize, two elevators, the gold deck, my court, and Annie up. Okay, okay, okay. Um, the game room and the promenade uh, have merged into a single level this year, making it easier than ever to visit Swags in the NBA store and more before heading to the uh, Galleon for some 1v1, the bridge for some 3v3. In addition, we've added showers, which allow you to get quickly changed servers. Elevators have been updated to include fast travel between key points of interest. It can also be used to access offshore events. Fire. Um, there has, uh, there's much to explore this year to go bull around the ship. You'll notice uh, state-of-the-art facilities and a uh, decadent environment, fostering an experience you won't find elsewhere. Mmm, they telling you straight up and down. You ain't you ain't going you ain't gonna find this on next gen. Next gen ain't gonna have this beauty. That's what they saying. That's what they saying. Come on, man. Hey yo, next gen, I need y'all to go crazy with the city news, bruh. You got darn current gen, last gen dudes getting all this work. Uh, more ways to play. This year features more uh, variety when it comes to matchmaking as we added no weight gameplay to complement got next spots. Whether you're itching to suit up with your friends or test your ability to mesh with random players in a pickup game, you have the ability to pair up quicker in NBA 2K23. Together, got next spots and no weight gameplay will diminish wait times and keep you on the court longer. So what they're saying is the matchmaking it's looking like you won't be able to match make with your squad. So it looks like it might not be uh, matchmaking with squads. Let me see, similar to Rec, when you go to join the game, you'll automatically uh, be matched up with fellow players, cutting down on wait times, got next spots, will still be an option for joining games, but you have options when it comes to matchmaking. Okay, seasons preview. 
Last year, we took players on exotic excursions around the world, and in the process, we showcased scenic courts and around the bounty of rewards. We're thrilled to announce that we've once again revisit some popular destinations from last year, and in addition to taking players to all new locations in international waters. But we aren't going to reveal where just yet. However, you can look forward to one new excursion and one new on deck event each season. Okay. Throughout the year, Gobo will receive cosmetic updates to match the vibe of each season, keeping things fresh and festive. Of course, will feature thematic designs and logos that we updated for 2v2, 3v3, and 5v5. I'm guessing 1v1 court is just going to stay the way it looks. Um, keep your eyes on the horizon for more season one news and updates coming soon. Okay, quests. What's new? Okay, arch rivals, rivals, Pippa. Um, good game and peace. So I'm assuming that it kind of is cool. So Okay, so they're adding quests to uh, current gen. Okay, that's valid. That's valid. That gives people something to do. I'm just hoping with these quests, we're able to do all of them with all of our different builds that we will have and not just one build. And you can't track progress on any other builds. Um, dominating every game mode and rival player in the gold boat never gets old. But if you're looking for more to do, you'll be happy to hear that quest of returning NBA 2K23. Players had the opportunity to explore the cruise ship by interacting with NPCs via quest. This year, you'll be able to explore the goat boat in a similar fashion, but added some tweaks. To receive quests in NBA 2K23, you must interact with NPCs. Previously, quests would appear in your quest journal, but this year you, they won't automatically be assigned. I wish they would have automatically been assigned on next gen i had to ride my goddamn skateboard all around him and, and meet up with every goddamn person on the goddamn old this is okay all right um we'll also be introducing um a new type of quest in addition um to daily weekly and seasonal called rival quest compete against the ai within an established storyline where you go toe-to-toe -to -toe 1v1 these quests feature key NPCs you will interact with throughout the course of the game. Experience a more immersive story this year with rival NPCs, a realistic storyline, and authentic dialogue. All I want to know is, would these arch rivals become in the next gen? Because this sounds like a W idea. Now, I do remember, um, you know, the rooftop joint going up against uh, Jackson Ellis and, you know, his, his maraud of, like, a bunch of different people. But the storyline was... It was a little st like standstillish because like you always had to go to a rooftop to do it. Maybe you know you walk inside of maybe one of the bars or something like that, and like the storyline triggers like you walking in there, you drinking your tea or you ordering like a a, a a coffee or whatever, and boy just come up and bump you real quick like, oh my bad, I ain't see you there, type shit. You know what I'm saying like that'd be fire. That'd be fire. I ain't gonna lie. Um. Closing remarks, this year is filled with larger than life events, challenging quests, and more course than ever before. We're so excited to share everything that lies in store, but the wait is almost over, so we won't spoil the fun. The Go Boat casts off on September 9th, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Prepare for the upcoming charter season of NBA 2K23 by pre-ordering your copy today. Now that you've read about the Goat Bowl NBA 2K23, join our Discord server and let us know what you think. Everything that I've taken in from current gen, I will say that it's sounding like a W. I, I, I can't lie. It's sounding like it's going to be a lot of stuff for people to do. Um, and it sounds like they've changed things to make it a more enjoyable experience. You know what I mean? By bringing together some of the things where you can be on a certain deck and be able to get to everything instead of taking 100 different elevators and stuff like that. That's dope. Um, two, two takes that I would take from this that, uh, I don't think that you guys know, um, if anybody wants to clip this and send it to anybody, you can, um, basically a lot of people have been arguing why PC hasn't been upgraded to next gen standards. And it's simply because if they upgraded PC to next gen standards, a lot of people wouldn't be able to play next gen PC gameplay. Now I will admit the industry that we are in now as far as gaming goes a lot of people have dope setups but i'm gonna be honest with you when it comes down to who plays 2k and who doesn't the demographic of 2k has always been heavily on consoles not pcs i believe 2k just doesn't have the analytical data to foster if it's you know profitable or even if it will work on PC if they bring the next-gen graphics, the next-gen everything to PC. 
You know what I mean? I, I just feel like it's one of those things where it's like, y'all ever y'all ever hear like when somebody playing a new game on PC and they be like, yo, man, it's just not optimized right. It's just not optimized right. We might have to wait for an update and, and stuff like that. Imagine 2K breaking a new game into PC's um, world and it's not optimized. It needs a thousand updates. It needs so much attention. And it's a bunch of nothing but a bunch of modders and hackers over there anyway, using programs to be 99 on day one and stuff like that. Like, I feel like 2K should focus their attention on console, but eventually they should be like, you know what? Let's work on PC in the background and maybe give it about another 24 months to 36 months to see if it it's worth it. Because I honestly do believe that there are a lot of people out there that have great, great working PCs. But I also believe that a lot of people out there have bare minimum PCs for certain games. Like, for instance, there's always those people that come up to me that wants to play RP. Right. And I'll be giving them like, you know, a PC build or stuff like that. They'll be like, yo, man, that's a little bit too high. That's on my price range. So I'll give them a, a base model joint, but you got to turn all your textures down. You got to turn everything on low quality just to play the game. And it's not enjoyable. It's not enjoyable to play a game that looks like you're playing a marshmallow game because your PC is not strong enough to handle all of the graphics. And it, and it sucks. So I know for a fact, like 2K got to be on the same wave. Like, yo, we can't have people out here. Man, I'm saying taking screenshots of our game, clowning us because their PC is not optimized and we don't have the manpower to fix anything that goes wrong on PC because we so focused over here on console and the next iteration of the game every year. But like I said, man, I hope that the 2K family and the 2K like workforce can grow and that they can expand on that. But I feel like right now just ain't the time, bro, because they're still trying to fix next gen, make next gen better. And they're still innovating on current gen, bro. Like current gen is still getting a lot of love. So, like, I just feel like they focusing on a lot right now. And PC, I'm sorry that y'all getting a short end of the stick, but I feel like y'all time will be coming probably 24 months to 36 months. If it happens next year, slap me if you want to, but it ain't happening this year. Yeah, I'm saying y'all go ahead and uh <laughs> play on Nintendo Switch then. Bye. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. I buy. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. I buy. King Kong. King Kong.